Hello, my name is Eric. Today we try to make a hull for a radio control boat. So we try to make the shell for a radio control boat and this boat will be a very slow boat. It will be a rowing boat. So construction is very simple and I would say a bit fragile. So it's not meant to put a electric motor like a wheel propeller or things like that. It's just a rowing boat. So I hope you have fun and uh, to know the basic to make a hull for a rowing boat. And this is only just one way to do the hull. Okay, so we draw a line that will be our baseline and then the length of the boat in that line. So this is our baseline and we draw the length of the boat maybe move it a bit here and then we go here the end and the start there will be the bow and the stem. So now what we have to do is get the width of the beam and the location of the beam. So the location really up to you. We can say around here. So that would be our location. So now what we have to do is take a piece of wood, in this case a doll, a doll, and uh, could be a plastic or something flexible and we just bent the plastic through these three points like that and then we draw the line so to do that we have to hammer the Put some knives. We get some knives and we can hammer the, the three points. One, two. So now we put the, the piece of wood somewhere in between. And then we go. You put the width or beam of the bolt to one side. And you measure from the center line. You measure from there to there, whatever. So it will be parallel to this side. Then what you do, you put a bit of plastic on top of that line and to do that you put some nails. I got three nails here, one, two, three, and we put it between those. So that gives you a shape. Then you can put more pressure on one side or the other to make whatever shape you want. So uh, I will try to draw the line about there. So I hold it there. 
and then just mark the line. In this case, oh, the finger will be until about there. There we go. We fix the finger there. All right. So that will be the shape of the base of the boat. Now you can do the boat like that or you put a that will be like looks like more like a canoe. But what, what I like to do is just cut it here and draw a line there. Like that, so it will be our base. So the boat will look something like that. This part will be the copy of the other. Also, you can measure or put some names and bend it again. drama because it's only a rowing boat. So there you go, ready to the sides. The sides you make it whatever height you want. And in this case I think it will be like oh, between six or seven centimeters. To do that you just get easy two stripes of seven centimeters roughly or whatever size you decide. So you you cut two of those and what you do you fold it and when you fold it, you say, oh, this is a bit longer, of course, it's a bit longer because what you do, you leave a bit of cut here, so when you bend it, it will make the, the front of the boat, the stem, and it will be like something, you got the boat there, will be this part. And and the other side, so it will be that part. If not, it will be square. So you leave a bit more for that. Okay. The bow comes there, or the stern. So to do that, we can use the same cut of this. We, we just take this with the beam or not beam that width and we draw a parallel line that will be our deeper than this between six and seven centimeters and at the same length from here we add one more centimeter, a little bit, as long as it's the same. Always measure from the center line or the base line. And then you put it together. So that will be our base. Mm. 